Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a stock chart with a moving average. So this is an example of a stock chart where we have our objects here that represent the high and low and the close of the stock uh, in question. This is one uh, about Google and it's from uh, January 2013 to, to date, uh, I believe October, actually November um, 2014. And the stock ticker symbols, these candlesticks, as they're they're called, uh, if it's white color here, it indicates that it is a positive move. It's if it's a dark color, it indicates it's a negative move. So if we look at our chart here, our table here, you'll see that um, in January it opened at 359 and closed at 362, which was indicate in, indicative of this clear clear box. And in March, it's a kind of a dark black box, and we have March here, on March 15th, $408. It opened, but it closed down at $406. And also, we have our moving average here. We have this moving average. And, and this almost looks like a combination chart, basically two charts in one. We have our stock ticker chart here, and then we have, looks like a line chart. But in fact, this is one chart. And I'll show you something that happens when you try to create um, two charts in here uh, with a stock chart. So let's go ahead and go into the table which I've copied over here. And to create a three month moving average, basically you would average out the three previous months. We don't really need these two months here. I'm gonna go ahead and just type uh, NA uh, equals NA and then just press control enter to fill out out here. And in this, this row right here, I'll just type average and just click on that and just average these three and press enter or control enter to stay within that cell and it's 38830 if I double click it what's gonna do it's gonna copy the formula down and it's gonna adjust uh, every other row or every row so this is e3 to e5 which is this one one two three and this one is e4 to e6 which is one two three here so it's going to account for the three month moving average here so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna plot uh, the, these columns first. We're going to select these columns here and you'll notice that my ribbon is kind of uh, minimized so I'm just going to double click it to maximize it. I minimized it earlier to give me some room to show that chart. So if I want to insert the chart I'll go into insert and I'm going to insert the stock chart which is under the charts group and it's the other charts commands here and I'll go ahead and just insert this particular chart. This includes the open, high, low, and close. We see we have other options here. High, low, close, and uh, volume, high, low, close, and this one is the volume, open, high, low, close. Five kind of arg um, variables here. But I'm going to choose the second one here which gives me the open, high, low, close. Click on that and we'll see that we have our chart here which is a little bit small. So I'm going to go ahead and increase it in length here. In most cases, you might be familiar with a combination chart where we have a combination of different charts, say for example, a line chart and a bar chart. And you may think that I have a stock chart and I'm gonna go ahead and just select this data and I'll do control C and I'll just kinda control V to paste it in there. And so the, the data is in there and what I can do is I can go under layout and look for that three month moving average uh, series. So it's right here, right here. So you can see it's kind of there and what I can do is I need to select that. I'll go into format selection. And when I, and most people would think, oh, let me put it on a secondary axis and click close. So we have it on a secondary axis. We have this Y axis here. And now maybe you want to turn it into a line chart. So with that still selected, I'm going to go under design and change the chart type and turn it into a, a line chart. And maybe I'll select, actually maybe I'll just select this one and click OK. And you'll get an error actually because it's going to say that certain charts cannot can be combined and that's the case of what happened here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK to get out of that and click Cancel. So what you can do instead of trying to make a combination chart, let me go and select this data and put it back into the primary axis. Let me go ahead and select the layout here, format selection, and put it back on the primary axis. So instead of having it as a secondary axis and doing it that way, which you may think that's probably the way to do it, what you can actually do is just do some formatting for this particular data. And what I can do is, as long as this is selected, I can go into Format Selection and choose a marker, where, and maybe one of these built-in ones. I'll just choose this triangle here and choose a line color and make that a solid line and have it the same thing. And I'll go ahead and click Close. And now, now you'll notice I have a almost a line chart here. So what it's done is basically it's just connected the different series uh, items here 
for that particular series. And it's just made a, a little marker there and it's combined a line that makes it go through it. And this kind of mimics a line chart. So what we can do now is we just adjust it. I'll put the legend down at the bottom. I'll go ahead and put the legend at the bottom to give me some room. Maybe I want to have this one show me the labels. I can just click on that, right click and add data labels. And just click there and make the data labels maybe on the bottom or the top. Maybe I'll make it uh, ab above. Click on close. And now maybe I just have to clean it up to make it look better. Maybe I'll delete the grid lines here. Let me go and select the grid lines. Oops. Let me go and select the grid lines here. Press delete. And now the grid lines are gone. Go ahead and add a title here and above the chart. And I'll just call this uh, Google stock with three month moving average. All right, press enter, and now I've got my three month moving average here. Well, the labels are a little bit too close together. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the labels and delete that and just uh, make it assume that we have, just by looking at the, the price here, we, we can differentiate with the prices here. And so that's our moving average here. So this is just an example of a very quick way to create a moving average on a stock chart. So you might have thought that maybe doing a combination chart might have worked, but actually just adding a, another data series into there and using the marker and line options in the format selection can actually create a pseudo line chart for you. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.